What is air rights? Air rights refer to a group of rights where the right to undisturbed use and control of the airspace over a parcel of land within reasonable limits for air travel may be transferred separately from the land. To expand on the concept of air rights, before the advent of air travel, air rights was basically without limits. But um, after the spread of air travel, air rights have been restricted uh, on a reasonable basis because of civilian and military air travel. Uh, one example of how air rights work can be seen in Hudson Yards in Manhattan and in New York City. A related term is encroachment. Encroachment is when a physical object is intruding into neighboring property, often due to a mistake regarding the boundary. To talk more about Hudson Yards, Hudson Yards is a large mixed-use private real estate development in New York City. It covers a large area of 28 acres. The project is estimated to have cost a staggering $25 billion, that's a, uh, with the B, US dollars upon completion. The real estate prices in Manhattan are very high and available space available ground space for further development is limited. Public structures including landmarks and mass transit facilities often have lower density than commercial and residential buildings. Air rights for those plots of land still exist. This creates an opportunity as there exists undeveloped space above these structures. Transferable development rights or TDRs were created to sell and purchase air rights. Air rights allow for the transfer of unused development rights from one site to another. Buildings can exceed the city's zoning code limitations by transferring these air rights. As a result, buildings became taller and more expensive. In the case of huts and yards, related companies leased the air rights above the development from the Metropolitan Transportation Authority or the MTA for 99 years at a cost of 1 billion US dollars. The Hudson Yards development is then constructed atop of a deck supported by 300 casings laid between the existing railway tracks. Key stakeholders in the Hudson Yards projects include related companies, Oxford Properties, and the MTA. The final results of these projects at the Hudson Yards resulted in 16 new buildings, including 4,000 apartments, a school, and parkland. The development has led to spaces for various large firms. Importantly, Long Island Railroad trains continued to operate during the Hudson Yards construction. This helped minimize disruption to mass transit. In total, the MTA raised around 1 billion US dollars for future capital projects from the sale of air rights. This is just one example of how air, air rights can lead to transformations in urban landscapes. 
create jobs and f help fund critical infrastructure projects.